Hi, my name is Sue Becker and I am from Woodstock, Georgia, and I am so excited to be a part of the Real Women of Philadelphia Recipe Contest. I'm real excited about sharing one of my family's favorite, simple to make, easy, so kid-friendly recipes with you tonight. First thing, I'm going to start by browning some ground beef to make for you my family's favorite easy skillet lasagna. It's actually called Speedy Skillet Lasagna because it's so fast and easy to make. You're going to start by browning a little ground, about a pound of ground beef here. And I've got it almost fully cooked. You want it where there's no more pink left. And then all you're going to do is add a jar of your favorite pasta sauce, anything around 25 to 28 ounces of spaghetti sauce or marinara sauce or, like I said, your family's favorite pasta sauce. Then I'm going to add about two cups of water. Now what I'm going to do here and what makes this recipe so fast and easy, instead of boiling my pasta noodles and then serving my meat sauce over it, I'm going to cook my pasta noodles right here in the sauce. So once I've added that um, my pasta sauce, my tomato sauce, now I need to add about two cups of water and I like to pour it in my jar that I've just emptied so I get all that good uh, residue of sauce out of that that jar. So now I have a very very uh, thin mixture here but that's just perfect for adding my dry pasta. I'm going to add about three cups of dry pasta and I'm using a whole grain brown rice pasta here that'll add uh, a little more fiber, a little more nutritional value than your white pastas. Just going to give this a quick stir and now see what's going to happen is this pasta is going to cook right here in the sauce and that's why we've had to add about two cups of water there because that pasta is going to soak up that water but it's going to cook right here in our sauce and so instead of having a real bland tasting pasta that you pour a nice flavored meat sauce over, it's just going to cook right here in the pot and absorb all those nice flavors. Now you can cook this in a skillet if you want to, but what I've chosen to do is just, you can cook it conventionally in a skillet, but I've chosen to cook it in a pressure cooker because in a pressure cooker you can cook this in five minutes. So prep time and everything cooked in a pressure cooker is just 15 minutes. I've timed it, and that's a great way to get a kid-friendly meal on the table. So I'm going to come over here. I've already prepared one for you that I've uh, pressured so that I could get this in and just show you really how fast this is. I'm letting the pressure out on this, this pot. I'm going to use this lid to put on my pressure cooker over there. So... I've got this one ready. The pressure It's already pressured for five minutes, and it is ready to go. So I'm going to put my lid on, lock my pressure lid into place, and this won't take but a couple of minutes to come up to pressure. Once it comes up to pressure, I'm going to cook, cook it. Um, I reduce my heat, kind of medium, medium low, just enough to maintain that pressure. I'm going to cook it for five minutes and then let the pressure just naturally release. I'll turn my heat off and just let that pressure come down. Here's my pasta dish all ready to go here. And look how nice and creamy my pasta is fully cooked, ready to eat. Now the original recipe called for a container of ricotta cheese. Well, one night when I was making this for my children, I had starving kids all around me. I looked in the refrigerator and I didn't have any ricotta cheese. But I always have Philadelphia cream cheese on hand. So I thought, wonder if I could substitute the Philadelphia cream cheese for the ricotta cheese. So that's what I did. I took eight ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese and stirred it in my pasta mixture. And this is nice and hot. And so that cream cheese melts real nicely. And then all I'm going to do is just continue to stir that around, giving this a nice creamy flavor. And I tell you what, when I put this on the table to serve it for my kids that night for dinner, they noticed a difference. And they asked me, what did you do different to the Speedy Skillet lasagna? It tastes different and we like it better. So now I always use Philadelphia cream cheese to cream up this pasta dish. And now I'm going to sprinkle it with some cheese. 
I use a mozzarella. And if you just put that lid back on this dish, on this pot, and just let it sit for just a few minutes while you get the table set and some bread and salad put on that table, it will melt that cheese and it will be ready to go. And you will have a nice kid-friendly meal ready in just a few minutes for your family. No need to buy those boxes of, of helper meals to, to put together a pasta dish like this. You can do this in just a few minutes and it's such a wonderful dish using Philadelphia cream cheese. So I want you to try this speedy skillet lasagna. You will love it and so will your kids.